See if this works. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do a quick stream. There's a couple of fundamental flaws in uh, what I was planning. Um, one is I don't actually have anywhere that I can just shut a door. Uh, the house I live in is very open plan, which is interesting. So I tend to have to wait until everyone's gone to bed. Um, just briefly going to go through a couple of things of introducing who I am, why I'm here. I previously put up another video, um, a test video, just basically going through the, the deed, showing the valve spring. Um, also trying to sort out some audio um, issues that I had. Uh, I was quite nervous doing that, still am. Um, popped into a couple other streams and decided that I would just, uh, just go with it, for want of a better word. If you've seen the other video, you would have seen the Thousand Spring. Uh, I'll probably make a better video at some point when I go into greater detail of, of what it's all about. Some of the buildings. How uh, it actually uh, did, did actually run out of out, um, upkeep once and did disappear. And then I came back to Worm and rebuilt it. Well, that's for another day. I'll be popping in and out because I'm not sure if I've still got some issues with sound and stuff. Just have to wait and see. Uh, basically, I'm just going to go through and uh, explain who Joshua Calvert is, uh, where he came from. He was uh, originally uh, from Star Wars Galaxies back in the day. And the actual name is taken from a character from uh, Peter F. Hamilton's Night Dawn trilogy. If you've uh, read that trilogy, you're probably quite aware of of Mr. Calvert. Um, but the spelling's different. And the spelling is different because on my character creation, I misspelled Joshua. But I just stuck with it. Thought it'd be interesting just to uh, have a different Joshua. So he started in Star Wars Galaxy on a server called Eclipse um, many, many moons ago until that shut down due to a number of issues and changes and all sorts of stuff. So after that closed, I started to look around for another MMO. Um, basically something that was free at the time. So I did a bit of a search on the old internet and found a rather peculiar title called Worm Online. So I created a character. Joshua, and picked a server called Exodus, and promptly landed in that land, stepped out of the uh, starter area, and was promptly killed time and time again by a crocodile, the same crocodile. It must have been about 12, 15 of my corpses in roughly the same area. Um, it was incredibly frustrating. I hadn't done any reading up on Worm. Just basically went straight in and died. 
I don't know if you, well, most Warren players will be familiar with that famous, famous meme or meme, whatever they can't even pronounce that word, of Welcome to Worm and the poor character being chased by every mob known. But I started to read up, starting to talk in the local. Back then there was quite a few other people around. And gradually learnt about this rather deep and complex game. And I stuck with it. Then... <clears throat> As everyone knows, you skill up. And you basically head out into the uh, the wilderness and create your own... Well, you can join a village, any village. Create your own deed, do, do what you want. So I uh, created a deed where Thalspring is now. And just started building. And it gradually turned into what you see now. Well, actually that's not quite correct. It turned into something, then that something all disappeared, and then it turned into what you see now. I must have put a correct history up about South Spring. It's great for archaeology because you uh, there's quite a few deeds on this uh, on this spot, including the previous South Spring and another South Spring. And a new spring. It's a lot of springs for some reason. <laughs> right. So that's basically a little bit about who Joshua Calvert is. Why the name Thal Spring? Mm. Again, that was in. That was a. Planet, I believe, in another PDF Hamilton book called Fallen Dragon. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but that's the way I pronounce it. Foul Spring. And the name just stuck. So when I picked a name for the deed, that's the one I picked. Didn't realize I'd be uh, carving its name into a mountain at some point. Let's just see where we are back in here. Um, oh, there's a couple of streams going on, so I'm not really expecting anyone to pop in. But I am uh, keeping an eye out just in case. Don't want to be rude. So, and what's all this? Falsping Scouts business about. Scouts quarters. Why, why did I create them? So, why did I create them? That probably goes back to, um, to Star Wars Galaxies as well. So I created cool there was something called the Galactic Scouts in that one. It wasn't very big. And Worm can feel quite... Not, dead's not the right word I'd use. Um, empty's probably a little bit more. Uh, if you're not in a populated server and you're not part of a village. Worm can feel pretty lonely. Um, especially if you're also shy. So you tend to sort of like make your own 
your own history and stuff, which is why I created the scouts. Because I needed a reason at some point. Didn't realize I was going to be doing this sort of thing, but I did want to see the other servers. Um, and a lot of other streamers, Cats uh, in particular, where she's done the Worm Roulette. It's all that go to the other servers and just visit and have a look around. And that kind of appealed to me as well, just to see, because Worm's forever changing. Um, it's not static. What was there a couple of months ago might not be there. What was there a couple of years ago might not be there or might be completely different. Um, as you can see from this shot, the, the big tower, a sand hill tower, I think they called it wizard's tower. But previously when I moved here, there was a massive colossus up there. Um, and then they moved in and built a tower. So it's forever changing. Pale Springs changing. It's changed quite a few times. So it'd just be interesting to go around and have a look. But I didn't want to sort of like just create a tune after tune or skill up on other servers. My home is here. And I just wanted to do try and get something up and running that fitted or linked back to Thalspring. So I came up with like what I used to do, just send scouts out, create a tune. I wasn't going to be interested in leveling up. I was just going to send them out just to have a look around. Um, and I've done it on Melody when I started the uh, Facebook page. I. That was a bit of a test run, just to sort of like see what it would be like. And can it be developed into something that might be interesting to do and stream without it sort of like duplicating stuff that might already be out there. So that's basically what, or one of the things I'll be doing is gearing up to go and visit the other lands. So if you do see uh, a character called Eighth or Foulspring Scout, that's all they're going to be called. They're not going to have um, a name. They'll literally just be called that. And I might shove a... Uh, not that many people do roleplay on here. But I might just shove the... Uh, uh, end it in an RP just to give people a, a heads up that if they wanted to throw in some RP elements, then that character would also uh, partake in them. Not that I'm any good at robbing. So, that's the sort of thing that I've been thinking about doing. Um, I do need to sort out uh, scheduling. Um, and how am I going to do that? There's a couple other things that I'd like to do, which is... Uh, uh, there's a couple more projects to do on, on the Thalspring, or in Thalspring. There's uh, a goal, a particular goal I'd like to uh, document. I'm not going to go into much detail about that yet. And it's getting these, how many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, four scouts. Four scouts that will be coming to visit the other servers at some point. I should have wrote most of this down just as a 
notes. But everyone's got to start somewhere, right? Let's just see. Cards, yes. Ah, I know what I'll do. We'll end on a positive note. We'll go and show you some new additions. joined the deed. Well, it's not very exciting because it's not actually a, a citizen. But thanks to uh, one of my alliance members, or an alliance member, it's not my alliance, just a member. But thank you for the uh, delivery of two male donkeys and I managed to find a female one. So that breeding program's up and running. And oh well, yeah the other big announcement is I managed to make some hay. I don't know if anyone else is having the same problem but a lot of this seems to turn to dirt. So that's a very short session. I haven't woken anyone up in the house. <laughs> Just to see or uh, we'll give you a bit of a feel for where potentially I'll be going and what you can kind of like expect to see from me. I am uh, not out to uh, conquer the world in any shape or form. This is just something almost like an extension of this. Hopefully people will get some inspiration. I know I do from visiting and seeing other people's posts. visitor that's stuck on the bridge there. There's quite a few design flaws in that um, arena. I need to revisit that. And I'm just going to probably nick one of these beds. Um, should clarify Catsburg's private suite. <laughs> and that is the perfect throne. Hopefully one day she'll come and visit again. She was a big inspiration for trying this. So a massive shout out to her and to Alice and to all the others that I've popped into. Not really said hello because I'm like I said, <laughs> quite shy, um, but I do tend to wave, say hello, mm. and I hope to catch some of you in chat one day. Um, for now, I'm obviously not going to sleep in Cats' bed, that would just be wrong. 
I'm going to nick. Oh, I know where I'm going to go. Maple. Right. So I'm going to wrap that up here because it was supposed to be a very short one. And I will catch up and see you all later. Bye.